Hey there, I'm Crystal, and today I'm bringing you the rare and elusive product review on this channel. I don't usually do product reviews, but Aeroban was kind enough to send me their Pocket Drum 2 Plus to check out and see what it does. Basically, this gadget allows you to air drum and trigger sounds as if you were playing an electronic drum kit. I've seen people playing these things in videos online, but I've never got to try one, so I thought it would be pretty interesting to check out. So let's try it out together, and after that, I'll let you know my thoughts on the product, how it works, and who might actually benefit from one of these. Inside the box, we have the user manual, which is pretty straightforward explanation of how to use it, and this QR code that you can scan to download the app that comes with it. And inside here, we have the drumsticks with a really nice wooden finish. They're actually pretty good quality, really well made. We have the adapter. This is effectively like the drum brain or the module that produces the sounds. And there's some controls that I'll show you later. Over here, we have the hi-hat and bass drum pedal. These are connected to the same cable. And here's the charging port. Underneath all that, we have an assortment of USB cables for charging as well as a male-to-male 3.5mm connector. How this device works is that each of the sticks as well as the pedals are individual Bluetooth devices. So once you turn everything on, they will automatically pair themselves to this adapter and signals from the pedals and sticks get sent to the adapter, which is the drum brain, in order to produce the sounds. Inside each of the sticks, there are also sensors that will detect how fast you're hitting. So they detect the velocity of movement as well as the angle at which you're hitting. And that's how it kind of figures out which part of the drum set you're playing at any time. So each of these is actually chargeable by USB-C. So there are charging ports on the sticks, the adapter, as well as on the pedals. All these devices do come charged straight out of the box, so you won't need to bother about that for a little while after you first receive them. What you would want to do is connect the adapter to something that is going to be able to create sound. So you could plug it into your headphones, you could plug it into your monitor speakers, or you could connect via Bluetooth to your mobile phone using the Aeroband app or the GarageBand app. Looking a little bit closer at the adapter, we have the line in and line out jacks. There is a headphone icon right next to the line out. That means this is where you would want to plug in your headphones in order to be able to hear the sounds coming from the unit, or you can plug them into your speakers. Whereas line in is where you would want to input sound. And that comes in handy if you want to jam along to a song. So let's say you want to play along to your favorite song that's on your phone. You just need to connect your headphones to the line out and then connect your phone to the line in with a 3.5 mm connection. So this is why they have that male to male cable included in the set. And then any sounds that you play off your phone will be routed through this and you'll hear the output of both the drum sounds from the Aeroband pocket drums as well as your phone's music output. On the other side of the adapter, we have a couple more buttons. There is the volume up and volume down buttons, which as the name suggests, are for you to control the level of output you're hearing. The voice button allows you to change the sound of the drum set that you're hearing. There's also a little clip over here, so it's quite convenient to clip it to your shirt if you're using headphones. Here's the charging port. This can be used to not only charge the device, but it's also a MIDI output port, so you can connect it to your computer and use this as a MIDI input device. The power button is where you can press and hold to turn on the unit. So I'm going to do that now, and then we just need to press the buttons on the bass drum for it to pair as well as the two buttons on the sticks. I'm just going to go connect this to my audio interface real quick, and then we can try this out. Once you turn everything on, you'll see the power buttons on the sticks glowing blue as well as on the bass drum pedal and the indicator light on the adapter will also be on. And you should be able to start hearing some sounds when you move around. In order to make sure that the drums are triggering where you want them to be, you need to calibrate the sticks. So place them in front of you where you want the snare to be. This will be the center of your kit, about 90 degrees apart. And press both of the power buttons simultaneously. So that will reset where your snare is, which is the middle of the drums. And further up and to your left is the first tom. 
up and to your right is the second tom to your direct right while the stick is also horizontal is the floor tom and to your left horizontal is the hi-hat you can close that by holding down the hi-hat pedal up here you have the crash you need to angle your sticks for this one and the ride symbol is on the right to get at an angle so with the sticks parallel to the floor you have hi-hat snare and floor tom and then for the angled elements you have crash tom one tom two and the ride symbol so the sensitivity on this thing is actually a lot better than i thought it would be you can play quite quietly though it's hard to play evenly when you get to faster speeds There's actually very little latency and there is haptic feedback in the strokes that make it feel very natural when you're hitting. It really feels like there is some response even though you're just hitting in the air. So that was a pretty cool feature. I'm going to play a couple of grooves of varying complexities to try and push the limits of this device so you can kind of see what you can and cannot do on it. And after that, I'll play through all the various voices or drum kit sounds that are available to you so you know what are the possible sounds you have to play with if you do decide to get a unit.
now to talk about how I feel about these, having played with them for a while, I think the product itself is actually really well made. The sticks feel sturdy, they don't feel like they're going to fall apart. And in terms of the sensitivity, the latency is pretty much negligible, so that's really good. The haptic feedback in the sticks is also really good. You can immediately tell when you have hit the invisible surface because the stick will vibrate in your hand, and it does so in a very natural way. Uh, I was surprised that it felt so intuitive to know when to stop because it will vibrate to tell you like you've struck the surface. The downside though is that you can't remap the surfaces. So if you already play the drums, it's going to take a while to adjust because the hi-hat is like way over on the side. Um, normally, I would have my hi-hat a little bit more in front of me and my crash as well. But okay, if you think of two rows in front of you, from left to right, the, the row nearer to you is like crash, hi-hat, snare, floor tom. And then the row in front of you is uh, the two rack toms and the ride. Sorry, the row in front of that. So it is a little bit strange because you're reaching all the way over to your left to hit the crash. If you go too far in front, you might accidentally trigger what feels like the world's biggest rack tom. It helped me to imagine that I was playing one of those gigantic 80s drum kits with like the huge rack toms in your face. If you're used to your rack toms being kind of flat out in front of you, this will be an adjustment because you actually have to angle the sticks upwards to trigger the rack toms. So that took a bit of getting used to, and I would say that it is not the most accurate when it comes to using both sticks on the same surface. It's more accurate if you're just using one stick to hit each surface at a time. I kind of put it through its paces with the grooves earlier. I would say it does really well at simple grooves. Quarter note grooves, eighth note grooves, stuff with just one or two open hi-hat notes in a bar. Another downside is that the kick and the hi-hat pedals are not velocity sensitive. So that means if you give it the lightest touch, it's going to trigger maximum velocity sound. So all your bass drum notes will sound super loud, and if you try to use the hi-hat as a foot pedal, they're all going to sound really loud as well. So I didn't try to use the left foot as a foot chick kind of timekeeping pedal. It doesn't really work well that way. You can trigger open hi-hat sounds, but that's about it. There's no foot splashes as well. These sticks are also surprisingly good for working on linear patterns, especially when you're just messing around with orchestration because the, the truth is they do occasionally mistrigger and you're trying to go for a tom but you hit a cymbal. The thing is when you're working on sticking pattern orchestrations, the whole point is you want to try out different sounds, so it doesn't matter as much if something is mistriggered. You can just kind of hear the different sounds and get used to that as part of your vocabulary. So I wasn't expecting that to be a potential plus, but there you have it. It would be really nice if we had the ability to remap the different elements of the kit to a different location in space. That would be awesome, or if you could remap the sounds. That one is not so bad because you can connect it to a DAW and trigger your own sounds through MIDI. You just need to connect it to your computer through the USB cable and use any drum sample that you have. The battery life on this thing is also really good. It's very convenient to charge it with the USB-C connections. In terms of who this product would be for, I think they've actually succeeded in making something that is really usable for both beginners and slightly more advanced drummers, especially in the sense that you can use this to do simple recordings and you can just record straight to your computer into a DAW and get some quick drum ideas out without having to go to a studio if you don't have an electronic drum set. So, okay, let's talk about one user group at a time. For beginners, I would not necessarily buy this if you have never touched a drum set in your life because it's just going to be really confusing if you don't know what you're actually trying to play. But let's say if you've gone for some drum lessons or you have a little bit of experience playing an actual drum kit and you kind of know what the parts of the drums are and what sounds they create, but you have no drum set at home and you have space limitations, for instance. So I know of some drum students who might stay in a rented apartment, maybe they only rent a single room, and they literally just don't have the space 
to have a full, even electronic kit in their room. So that's when this might be handy for them to practice in that limited space and also not disturb anyone because you can use it with headphones and you can practice to music and actually hear the drum sounds instead of having to imagine it. So I would think this product is really useful for people that really need to hear the sonic feedback of what they're playing to be able to uh, remember the different drum parts that are happening in a song. That said, these are definitely no replacement for actual drums. Even if you're a beginner and getting these as a practice aid, you still need to use one of these to get actual hand technique. It's definitely going to be a little bit frustrating for actual drummers to use this because there's not as much sensitivity as you're used to from a real drum set or even an electronic drum set and you won't be able to play as complicated parts as you want to. But I think it would be useful for uh, the sake of its portability. So for example, if you are just wanting to jam at a friend's house and you don't have a drum set there, you can just bring along the pair of sticks, wire it up to your phone, and you have some kind of sound for a really basic jam. Uh, you can also use it to record quick drum ideas like a scratch track if you're writing with your band. This might also be useful for musicians who are not drummers that just want to dabble a bit with drumming without actually committing to buying a drum set because you're not really a drum set player. I did pass these to my husband who's a guitarist and he said they were pretty fun and in my opinion, he actually picked them up faster than I did because there probably wasn't as much muscle memory to have to unlearn after hours and hours of practicing real drums. I think these would also be really cool as a fun gift for any like nieces or nephews who love hitting things and making sounds but you don't know if they're ready to commit to a full drum set yet. This is something that really straddles the line between being a toy and an actual instrument so I think they've done a really good job of making something affordable that is actually reasonably legit. I would not classify it as a toy, but I can also imagine as a kid, this would be pretty fun to mess around with. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this little look at a very, very neat product that is super portable. If you'd like to get a pair of these for yourselves, you can use the link below and the code Stylch Drums for 10% off your order. Here's wishing you a great week of drumming ahead, and I'll see you in the next one.